Hey y'all, it's Key and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you see something that makes you want to subscribe. And if you've been rocking with me, thank you for spicing it up with me once again. So, in case you haven't noticed, I haven't been on camera physically in a long time. All those videos that I posted, those were Cajun classified files, which meant they were old. Like literally, my last video was my birthday vlog. And if you've been rocking with me, you know that I'm a Gemini. So, and it's January. So, that's all we're going to say about that. Um, But, however, let's get into this video. So, let me tell y'all what I've been doing these past couple of months. So, yeah. This is going to be a life update slash why I did this. I know you probably wondering how I got to this point. It's a long story. So I wasn't paying four hundred plus dollars to get my hair professionally detangled, and I also wasn't paying somebody to cut it if I could do it myself. Yes, it's patchy. Yes, it looks a mess. Yes, I went through all the seven stages of grief, but I look good in my head. So that's all that matters. It's giving Cynthia, but it's all right. It came out better. <laughs> Yes, why I did this. So, boom. Um, if you need to know about my life journey previously to this, um, I'll tell you to click the link below and yeah, do that and look at this video before you look at this one. Come back to it. Okay, so boom. If y'all already seen that video, you know uh, that I graduated college December 2020, right? Didn't have nothing lined up at all for my life. Didn't really know what I wanted to do. I, I lied. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I really wanted to work at 97.9 The Box because I've been DJing since I was 11. That's what I wanted to do. Um, however, I will say this. I didn't network enough in school at all. I was so caught up in doing all these organizations and you know networking that way but I don't have anything to show for it besides a couple of LinkedIn connections and I don't talk to them and most of the people that I'm linked in with don't even like me so it's just like it's pointless um so I didn't network like I should have um, the radio was working really good for me. If I would have networked better with that, I probably would have had more connections. But also outside of networking, I didn't want to live in San Marcos or Austin area um, past my graduation date. And I still end up staying there months after. You know, that's just not what I wanted to do. That's not what I've seen for my life. I really didn't want to come back to my hometown either. But that's what happened. Um... The job I had, it wasn't a bad job at all. It was cool. Um, I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, it was just some things that I didn't really like. Um, and also, it really didn't align with my goals for myself. Um, that was the first job offer I received um, after graduating. So, I kind of just went with it. However, what I really want to do with my life is I want to help kids, but I want to do like mental health and stuff like that and music and arts. And that's not really what I was doing in my previous job. So anywho, I stayed there almost a year, pretty much. Uh, December 3rd was my last day at my job. Um, I did step out on faith because I had been praying about it a lot. And I was wondering, you know, is this what I want for my life or is this what God wants for my life as far in, as far as terms of me leaving um, my job? Because, you know, that was um, security. Like I knew how much I was going to make every month. You get what I'm saying? I knew, uh, you know, well, for the most part, I knew how many hours I was going to work, et cetera, you know. Um, but I trusted God. And I put my two weeks in, and my last day was the third. I had always felt like I wasn't going to stay there long, um, you know, but just physically leaving uh, was very, very hard for me because I'm 
a person that, you know, the way I grew up, I didn't like to disappoint people. You know, like I'm not a please, people pleaser by no means. I got to go with my flow and go with the vibe and the energy, but I just didn't want to leave because I felt bad, you know. Um, but I'm a firm believer in you can't pour from an empty cup. So I was pouring, 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 pouring. And then when it came to me, I didn't have nothing to give myself. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer in self-care. I wasn't doing that. Um, you know, I just didn't have time to do anything that I really wanted to do. And although I was working from home, um, there was a lot of times where I had to do stuff outside of my work hours or go um, places outside of my work hours. So it, it just, it was a lot going on for me. Um, but nevertheless, probably I say I, my last day was the third, by like the fifth, I had cut my hair. Um, a lot of people say, you know, a woman that cuts their hair is somebody this, you know, gonna change the world, you know, something like that, right? Um, but I cut my hair because it was a lot of energy attached to my hair. Um, and I'm just a firm believer in energy. I don't like to take certain things from people. Um, I don't like mirrors being gifted to me. I don't like, um, you know, getting certain things from certain stores. Like, that's just how I am. I really believe energy is attached to things. Um, I had a lot of people touch my hair that wasn't supposed to touch my hair. I had a lot of people near me that weren't supposed to be near me. I had a lot of emotions attached to, attached to my hair at the end of the day. I got my locks um, February 15th. 2020 right this year would have made two years that i had my locks i went through so many different emotions and stages with those locks that i didn't even want them anymore um i had them in some rough rough times in my life and i remember you know my friend faye you know y'all done seen her on the channel before um she was like girl you could have just did one of those rinses, one of those rinses. And I'm like, no, like this is attached to me. I have to cut it off. And like a lot of people were telling me to save them and reattach them, but it's like that defeats the purpose of me cutting them off in the first place. Um, so I didn't do that either. Um, also, I was having a lot of scalp issues because aside from me twisting my own hair every now and then, I went to at least three different lock tissues in the time I had my hair. They all did locks a different way. Um, and like in the center of my head, it was, it was horrible. It was hurting so bad. Like I couldn't even put my hair in ponytails or nothing like that. Um, even though I did it a lot, it hurt so bad. Um, and even when I would have my hair down, it hurt. So I just, it was time for them to go. Um, this is not me saying that I won't ever get locks again, but with this next set of locks, I'm going to be very intentional. Um, my previous locks, they were too thick to me, um, and I dyed them way too much, and I just neglected them. I didn't show my locks the love that I should have shown them, so it's like, this is just, ugh, I'm starting over. I'm trying to love myself better. Um, I'm not going to act like I've been doing what I need to as far as fitness goes, but that is what I want to do. I want to be well all the way around. I want a sound body, sound mind, sound spirit, sound soul. So I'm literally, every day I pull from my self-love jar. And, you know, <laughs> I pick something out of it. Like today was an affirmation. And my affirmation was, I'm too special to settle. Because in my life, I've done a lot of that, you know? Um, and then other things I had to write on a uh, paper, everything that was bothering me, you know, so far as anger and sadness. And I did that for 15 minutes and I burned it. So it was like, 
I've been doing a lot of that. I just been living intentional because like I know tomorrow is not promised. I know that. I know <laughs> I can record this video now and I may not even make it to editing it. You get what I'm saying? So it's just important to value your life and value this time that you have on this earth because it's just like you see people passing every day, bro. Every day. Um, and it just sucked. And I knew that I had to do better um, when I looked back over 2021 and I couldn't think of one good thing, right? One good thing. And yeah, I had money in my account. Yeah, I had a job. But it's like, none of that stuff was truly making me happy. It was making other people happy. It was making these bill collectors happy that I can get them their money. Like, it was it was nothing that really just made me happy, uh, genuinely, you know. So I've been writing in my good things jar, and basically that's just me writing a good thing from every day. And because if you can't think of one good thing from every day of your life, something is wrong. Um, so even if it's just a ugh, day for you, you know, like maybe you just down in the dumps you're alive that's a good thing um so yeah i just been being very intentional with the way i'm living the way i'm loving and just showing love to me because so many times i accepted what i thought was love because i didn't love me but i'm doing so much for myself like in my jar you know I have a backyard feast in there, uh, vocal exercises, practice the keyboard. You know, like just different, buy yourself flowers. I bought myself, I was supposed to buy myself flowers, baby, I bought two bouquets. And that stuff like that is really, it's not even that high. Like it was $5. So I spent $10 on two bouquets. But back to the job, as far as that is concerned, um, currently I'm unemployed. I work um you know as far as djing is concerned I do some babysitting here and there i do some organization here and there for other people but as far as me having a legit job i don't have one um and that was part of stepping out on faith i'm not gonna lie when i stepped out on faith i have trusted god i really did and i thought that it was just gonna give me a job period um but no uh, it didn't, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm all right. Um, cause I literally, I'm not gonna say how much I had in my bank account, but I didn't have a lot in my savings. I didn't have a lot in my account. However, my money has not dropped below a certain amount since this has happened, even with bills. So, I trust him to work it out. I know he'll work it out. Um, I was going to make this all politically correct and how cute and all that. But no, nah, this is real. This is raw. And yeah, this is just what I'm dealing with right now. Um, I have more videos to come. I thank y'all for rocking with me always because I have not been consistent with my channel at all. But y'all still have been supporting. Y'all still have been loving me. And... I just appreciate it. I really do. I really do. Because y'all don't have to do that. But yeah, I cut my locks. Um, and we're going to see where this journey leads. I really just want healthy hair. Okay? So, this is, uh, we're going to get a texture shot. That's my hair, which is, um, Water, some Aunt Jackie's, a little leave-in conditioner. But this is how my texture looks when I style it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a lot of uh, natural hair videos for y'all, though, too. Um, you know, just me going through my journey, um, sprucing my hair up, doing what I do. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Love y'all.